From Los Angeles to Washington and New York, Chinese studying or living in the U.S. are calling for the Chinese Communist Party and its leader to step down. People are dying in China. People in the U.S. and China are protesting Beijing's strict zero COVID policy, which has prompted sporadic and lengthy lockdowns in China. A lot of the workers are all sealed up at home and can't go out and pay their mortgages. I think the continued lockdowns are not scientific. It's not right. A student who calls herself Max hides her identity at a candlelight vigil in Los Angeles because she fears for her relative safety in China. She says the consequences of China's zero COVID policy and lockdowns are worse than the disease. And way more people are dying because of this. They're starving to death. A deadly apartment fire last week in the city of Urumqi in northwest China sparked the protests throughout the country. The region is home to China's Uyghur Muslims. One Uyghur resident told VOA that because of the zero COVID policy, the doors to the fire escape were chained from the outside trapping people inside the burning building. A fire department official said residents were not aware of an alternate fire escape. A Uyghur news outlet in the U.S. reported 44 people died in the fire, but the government puts the death toll at 10. This vigil in Los Angeles is not only for the people who died in the fire, says Kiki, a student who also chose not to use her real name for fear of Chinese government retaliation. These 44 fellow citizens also represent every single person in China. Could be you, could be me. We are actually inside the building, the big fire, together. If we don't speak out today and don't act, no one in the world will hear. Hamid Kerem is a Uyghur from China who owns restaurants in Washington. He says the protests are long overdue given China's repressive policy against Uyghurs. The Urumqi fire ignited everyone's heart. It made them, the people, stand up. I respect and support the protesters, but in my opinion, it's a little late. But it's still not too late. Beijing has rejected criticism of its actions in the Xinjiang region, where many Uyghurs live, saying it is fighting against terror and bringing social stability and prosperity to the area. Indeed, on social media, there are some forces with ulterior motives relating the fire with the local response to COVID-19. The Urumqi city government has already held a news conference to clarify what happened and refuted the disinformation and smears. Some Chinese in the U.S. say their fight is about something greater than China's COVID policy. We are here to support them to fight for freedom and democracy here. Yeah. Many demonstrators say they will continue to speak out for their friends and loved ones in China, hoping there will be a better life one day for them and the next generation. Elizabeth Lee, VOA News, Washington.